Now, your Storm Track 3 weather rate forecast. Record breaking heat across the Sunflower State today, and the most notable is going to be Salina. They hit 112 degrees, crushing the 87 year old record of 111 set back in the Dust Bowl. Wichita also breaking records today, 111, absolutely shattering the previous record for today, set in 2011. Also, this is the first time we have gotten this warm in nearly 11 years here in Wichita. Dodge City also breaking records, as well as Russell, and temperatures continue to stay nice and warm as we move through the the evening. We are watching the potential of more record breaking heat tomorrow, mainly for those of us in central Kansas. 106, both the record in Salina and Wichita. We are currently forecasted a few degrees above that uh, out towards the west, though, going to be a similar story close to the record, but not quite getting there as we look on towards tomorrow and then again towards Monday. Here in Wichita, highs tomorrow expected to be around 108, holding on to the triple digits well into the work week all the way through about Friday, finally seeing 99 degrees and the 95 on Saturday I never thought I'd be so excited to see the 90s on a forecast but here we are as we sit under this ridge of high pressure we're just going to continue to cook and stay in those triple digits well into the middle of the week but the high pressure is keeping beautiful blue skies in the forecast chasing out any chance of rain though as we look through the next several days until about this weekend that's when we finally see some rain chances fighting their way back into the forecast but before we get there we are dealing with dangerous heat we have excessive heat warnings in place for the areas here in pink. Off towards the west, we have heat advisories in place. This means that as humidity increases over the next several days, we're going to be seeing our feels like temperature sit closer towards 110 degrees. Even though our actual air temperature is going to be backing off a little bit, it's still going to be feeling hot as humidity is brought back in. Southerly winds continue to pull that moisture back into the plains. As you step out this evening, it is still warm. 107 currently in Wichita, 109 in Emporia, 111 in Salina, 104 in Dodge City, 102 up in Colby. There's no easy way to say it. It is warm outside. It is hot. Make sure you are drinking plenty of water over these next few days because this heat is no joke. And if it makes you feel any better, we're not the only ones feeling this bubble of high pressure. Temperatures down towards Dallas, also around 106. Omaha sitting at 97. Minneapolis, also around 90 degrees. But if you look out towards the West Coast into the 70s, Phoenix currently sitting several degrees below us here in Wichita. 89 degrees in Phoenix compared to the 107 here closer to home. Those heat alerts and heat advisories are painting most of the Midwest and down into the Southern Plains. We have areas here in pink for those heat, excessive heat warnings stretching from Iowa all the way down towards Louisiana and Texas as this bubble of high pressure is just locking in place, sitting right on top of us and helping us continue to bake over the next several days. As we look ahead towards tomorrow, that high is just going to be situated where it stays, keeping us cooking and keeping that air compressed back down towards the surface. Areas of high pressure like this keeps our air stable, chases out those rain chances, but also is what keeps us so nice and warm. We're also watching that disturbance that is moving up the Baja Peninsula. That is going to be Hurricane Hillary. While we are staying with dry skies here in the Sunflower State, things are starting to pick up as we look off into the Pacific Ocean. Hurricane Hillary has been downgraded back towards a Category 2 hurricane with the latest update. Winds currently at 110 miles per hour, but inching its way closer towards California, expected to make landfall as we look towards Sunday night, impacting areas like Las Vegas, continuing all the way up the track into Nevada, a very unusual storm for this time of year. Also unusual, the warm temperatures we're seeing. We're going to be sitting near 108 tomorrow, those triple digits just not wanting to give way. Over the next several days, it's that high pressure system is just going to be stuck over us. Finally, by the weekend, falling back into the mid-90s. For those of us in north central Kansas, potentially record-breaking heat. Once again, tomorrow, 109 expected across areas from Salina down through north central Kansas. We hold on to the triple digits all the way through Friday until we fall into those low 90s by Saturday thanks to the next cold front that's moving through. And southwest Kansas, that cold front also brings the potential of a few showers and thunderstorms Friday night into Saturday, but it's going to be very dry and very warm before we get there. Northwest Kansas, 100 degrees expected tomorrow, but staying in those upper 90s, a little bit more relief from the heat as you look towards the northwest. Better chances of rain arriving Friday and Saturday as we return back to the 80s. Still dangerously hot. A reminder, not everybody can afford to crank the AC. I get it. So if you get a chance, stay inside, stay hydrated, 
sit in front of a fan. Yes, and then libraries across the region are a great place to be indoors in the AC. Absolutely. Okay, things are heating up. Let's talk Chiefs. Yeah, their preseason game number two is finally here. Chiefs and Cardinals kick off at 7 p.m. How Mahomes is feeling about returning to the Super Bowl stage. That's coming up next.